I'm Mitri and Clarido here with Girl Code G Code TV. I'm on Detroit's West Side at Detroit Vegan Soul. I'm from the West Side, so it's only right that I interview a West Sider today. Oba Rowland, we're going to be talking about all things music. We're going to try this Detroit Vegan Soul, and stay tuned. Oh, here with Girl Code G Code TV here. Again, we got Oba Rowland, special guest in the building. We are here at Detroit Vegan Soul. Neither one of us have tried Detroit Vegan Soul yet, so we're going to be trying it nervous yeah because i don't know what to expect and i'm just like i hope it's good and i actually want to go vegan have you ever tried any um i went vegan for four months i ain't tried hair though how was the experience though i lost a lot of weight my hair my hairline grew back it was crazy <laughs> i'm you know trying saying? to lose weight i just want to eat right and i just want to change my whole yeah my whole lifestyle my energy and all that good stuff uh, so we're gonna keep y'all posted on what we order and give our honest feedback honestly. and detroit vegan soul food did not pay me the one of us for this yeah. we just you know Obama. exactly yeah so kicking things off i just want to congratulate you on all the projects you keep dropping back to back to back it's like what's your strategy like, when you when you, you know when you do music uh fuck it you know fuck it fuck it so just anybody drop. out there y'all want to know it <laughs> fuck just it. drop don't matter don't let it matter in this world nothing matters at all ever i see you doing you know the movies yeah anything, the little acting but anything um to come to overall um yeah um what is it though do you feel like you have a passion for acting and yeah i do actually they didn't give me enough lines actually so yeah, shout out to them. They give me so, some of my lines, nigga, because I'm already cut up. All those producers out there, yeah, and movie directors, directors yeah. y'all give an overall. <laughs> give me some more lines. Give me some more action scenes. You are you actually saying? hilarious. By I'm the way, I'm lucky sick that KDG had a sex scene and I didn't have a sex scene. And I'm just like, yeah. Spoiler alert. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So yeah. Well, I'm in a few movies too, so there we go. Cast and directors out there, y'all, you know. I'll let you go. Yeah, you got the one joint uh, coming up too, huh? Yes, I That's got. Yep. Yeah. Price of Love, the movie. I yeah. played Drea with the green hair. So. Mm, it's lit. on the flow. It's on mm -hmm. the flow. I can't really Explain give you too, too much, much okay. you yeah. know, but it's on the flow. Just That's know right. it. Detroit doing major moves right now. Like, who would you say, since we are from the West Side, name, like, give me five West Side rappers that you that you will listen to? Who's West Side rappers. Who's in your playlist and who, who, who do you like? It's a very, very good question. Um. Sam Shabazz, my favorite rapper in the world right yeah, now. In the world. So that's over the West High and beyond. Yeah. Um, West High Rapper. Oh, E-Modest. Mm -hmm. um, West High Rappers, West High Rappers, West High Rappers. Damn, yeah, JR, not from the West High. Um, gotta hold it down for the West on this episode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, is Doughboy Boys a group? I mean... They all from the West Side? I'm going with all of them, yeah, as a group. So, Doughboy's a group. Yeah, that's a group. That's a group. That's a definite group. Chill Priest, Damn, who else? Project Priest, Hold up, I know some of them. I know I'm tripping. Huh. Damn, man. We, we over here lacking on the West Side. Now, we need more West Side rappers. Let me think. Um, Let me throw um, somebody. That's my, oh, wait, uh, my girls. Milfie. Mm, um, come on, ladies. Yeah, I'm tripping. Um, uh, Rocky Bad be going. Okay, that's, that's a good five. Right that's here, a good right? okay, yeah, cool. That's a good lineup. Ladies in there. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm from Detroit Westside at Detroit Vegan Soul. I don't know what we're doing. Why are we together right now? Just like vegan food. We're just doing something different, man. Big over in the building. <laughs> so, with Girl Code, G Code TV, what I'm going to do is build a platform for artists like myself and people in Detroit. Just with, uh, exploring just, you know, what we have to offer. People don't really know over Rogan. So. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's Yay. all we can see. Right. She ordered stew. Did you need any hot sauce? Yeah, hot sauce, yeah. All the ghetto stuff. Okay, yeah. let's get this. She ordered stew, my nigga. That's just for appetizer. Come on. Relax. Come on. Wow, this yeah. looks fire. Yeah. It's about good, good wheat grass shots. No, this is actually <laughs> so, wow. Off the tofu. Okay. I'm about to fuck up this hoodie. I know what time it is. Stop playing with me. Over Rogan. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. First taste time. test. First thing. Try being so. This is an honest reaction right here. Okay, and those are the regular fries. Y'all smell y'all food before you eat it, huh? I for sure smell my. You do? <laughs> she got stew. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was not steaming. All right, come on, let's get it. It's fire because you still eating it. I ain't, guess who ain't mad? Guess who ain't mad? <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you, like, eat, have you eaten today? I have. Okay, so it's not even just because you're hungry. Yeah, it ain't just because I'm hungry. I have, I, I have some breakfast. I didn't know how this day was going to turn out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, you should have me on some bullshit. 
That, okay. that bread, like, what is that? This is a, uh, okay. This is what you do. You put the clothes all on the fry. Mm -hmm. so I'm inventing shit as we go. Let's let y'all know. That's how I eat. You know what I'm saying? I create shit. Because I'm a creator. And we should tell that for my music, right? Yeah. Okay. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but, but I'm rolling up. I'm still chewing. I'm still thugging. I have the lemonade. Lemonade busting. Busting. Yeah. Let me try it. Lemonade busting. Okay, lemonade. Lemonade busting. Yeah. 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 Okay, vegan soul food. I'm not mad at y'all. We're going to see when this mac and cheese come out. Oh, oh. Here we go. We got action. Oh, 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 we got action. Wow. This looks amazing. Oh, y'all here doing this? Everything is fire. Can't lie. It's healthy. <coughs> I feel healthy already. Show mine. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Let me, let, me, let me do you justice. Let me do you justice. Hold up. I can work this. All right. Okay, so this is what I got. The oh, you see the steam coming off that. So platter, mm -hmm. catfish, catfish, black eyed peas, black eyed peas, macaroni, and macaroni. greens. Oh, thank God I ain't dropped this phone to your shit. I've been mad. Now we about to see raw, raw, honest opinions. Your, uh, <laughs> yeah, no bullshit. You still got a bunch of Uh-huh. Nah, because you first. <laughs> I done did half the battle. What should I do first? I'm not mad at these fries. Yeah, you're going back for another time. Wait, these red skins? They're no. not your red skins? They not what you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody fucked up. <laughs> All right. Okay. For sure. Uh, yes to that. Yes to that. Before I answer that, I'm gonna answer this. Yeah. Now, that's the best thing. Yeah. Mac, mac and cheese. It's busting like that? Yeah. I'm not even a mac and cheese eater, but my man's from the hood, man. He, he always brag about mac and cheese. So I'll be like, fuck it. Let's just try mac and cheese shit. You know what I'm saying? Just so I can tell that nigga if the mac and cheese is fire or not. What's up, y'all? We have vegan soul food. <clears throat> Detroit vegan soul food. Trying out the dishes. Giving a review, a live review. I mean, y'all know how the food is. I got the catfish tofu sandwich. You know what I'm saying? She got stew. <laughs> she got stew. You know, she's out in the cabins in the woods with the stew and a tofu platter. She got all that shit. So far, this shit is kind of fire. I don't know. Look how she eat. That's how you eat. Don't be sitting here trying to eat pretty for the camera. No, this is good. Okay. You see how I bit into that sandwich? It got shit all over my face. Look at her die, bro. It's yeah. all worn down. <laughs> it must be good to make her do that. So, again, just like Detroit Vegan Soul Food, we are all different. Appreciate your artistry. Um, let the people know what you got next. You are different. So let us know what's popping. What I got next? You actually got a show tonight, though. So oh, yeah, I do. That. I got a show tonight. Um, oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> right? Hold up. I'm going to try to get both of us. It's okay. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, tonight I'm with Bazaar. I'm in Ferndale. Shout out to all Bazaar for D12. You know, get that yeah. house out of the way. Shout out to Bazaar. I saw one of his mixtapes as well. Yeah. Okay. He put, me, he put one of my singers on there. He got okay. a lot of good feedback. All right. Which he didn't have to do. Yeah. <coughs> a lot of, it, a lot of uh, Detroit artists don't sit together. Right. And it's like, it's about to be a change. It's a new Detroit. Yeah. I feel like. Oh, 
he refused to answer that question that I asked him. So what I got new coming on? Moving on to the next <laughs> videos. I got revenge coming out. Oh no, revenge is out right now. We gonna watch that. I got Rock the Bad about to drop. I ain't dropped that yet. I got Tony Allen about to drop. I ain't dropped that yet. I got a few other videos about to drop. A round video. It's a very, very, very freaky video. So it's got easy than uh, tell the director to put, give me a sex scene in a uh, first lady. I did a whole video. Okay. Porno. Actually, it's on Pornhub right now, actually. Oh, yeah? He yeah. did on Twitter. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. listen. If y'all don't follow him on Twitter. <laughs> she's going to be pissed. Just follow. I think she's married now, so good luck with that. <laughs> follow him on Twitter because he's hilarious. Like, that's one thing I will say. You um, you give a lot of references to Detroit things like Free Kwame, Free Kwame. Coney Island, Rocky yeah. Bad, yeah. things of that nature. Like, mm -hmm. what's, obviously, Detroit is the inspiration behind it, but what made you start naming up, like, projects and things like that? Um... I'm trying to think of different ways to uh, brand shit and show niggas love. Even if they don't fuck with me, I don't care. It's ain't about you, niggas. It's about me. So <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. Have anybody <laughs> ever got offended by any of the songs that you've done? Yep. I don't want to elaborate on that. I just was wondering. I want to elaborate. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. Southwest Mook. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you had a song named that, and then it didn't go right, or was it? The yeah, I named her out in Dreams video. Oh wow. Yeah. So you, are you a Nicki Minaj fan, by the way? Um, she's cool. I respect her. Okay, so. If you haven't heard, okay, so Barbie Dreams is like a song where she yeah, named like yeah. all the rappers. She stole my shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I thought she got she it. She stole my heart and she stole my song. I thought that that was hers, but okay. Yeah, I did it first. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> he named a bunch of people, including myself. I thought it was hilarious. I'm sorry this never gets aired because you want to keep your, your relationships <laughs> tight. No, no. All right, cool. This is War Uncut. This right. is Girl Code G Code TV. That's what it's all about. I'm drunk anyway. Don't listen to me. Anywho, cheers. Um... We're gonna talk yeah. about some things. Let's, okay. let's get into um, this Pornhub deal. Like, how did you? How did that come about? Yeah, man, Pornhub, man. They just basically hit me up. They was like, nigga, we see you on here every day. What's going on? You got a girl? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is you got going on? And I was just like, man, you know, I just be browsing. So you know, I'll be shopping or nothing like that. I don't do that type of shit. Some niggas actually be buying stuff on there. You know, which is cool if that's what you do. But I don't do all that. Buy what? Exactly. Whatever they selling. No. <laughs> 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 Whatever. Okay. I don't know. You know, but yeah, you know, I be browsing. Yeah. You know what I'saying? So <clears throat> one thing leads to another. I was like, oh, upload. Oh, upload. Oh, upload. Okay, bet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
Do you have, do you have any influencers or anybody that you know motivate Oprah Rowling? Any mentors? Anybody? Don't nobody influence me. Don't none of y'all niggas inspire me. Nah, I don't know. I'm talking shit. You really got um, people thinking you're not no smoker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't smoke. Um, Tell it all. Who am I influenced by? Let me think. I'm influenced by everybody for real. Really, that's really on some real nigga shit. That's what Black Santa too. My black, my black Santa too. Oh, it's all about that time. Yeah, it is. You keep you keep it going too. For for yeah. those of you that don't uh, that don't know, every what every December right Black here. Santa. Yeah. So this will be the fourth one. This will be the third. Third, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. But my Black Santa two project, I named it after everybody in the city, um, because. I named it like after people who have to be inspired or have to believe in themselves. It was, it was called Black Santa too. Fuck, Black, fuck Santa, believe in yourself. Fuck Christmas, like believe, fuck believe in yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that was the whole thing behind the whole project. So I was just basically telling people artists and shit that I rock with in the city, but I just see. I don't even know some of them artists. You know what I'm saying? But I actually just saw around. It would be like, yo, these type of artists have to believe in themselves to make it to somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's what that shit was about. It was supposed to be inspiring. Some people thought I was dick sucking. I mean, listen, you know there's no there's no such thing as dick sucking me support. Like people <laughs> people just not used to genuine love, you feel me? And I feel like like I said, Detroit is making a, a, a turnaround. It's gonna be so, a new Detroit and people are starting yeah, to that's a good people, question. That's a good part. People are gonna start seeing the change in a wave and they're not gonna have a choice yeah. but to either support or get left behind with this wave, I feel like. I'm, I really want to ask I'm actually on the project free Kwame, but yeah. I yeah. never I mean I, obviously, he was a mayor here, but I don't know. You, I don't know the inspiration behind it. Like, obviously, he's locked up. Free Kwame, by the way. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about that. And did you receive any like positive or negative feedback? Um, I received. I received both. Mm -hmm. The positive was um, um, his, his younger son is an artist. Um, oh wow! See, I didn't know that. He reached out. He real cool. He said he told his pops about it in the whole nine yards. Um. It was a, uh, it was me and Sam's idea. Originally was like, originally was like uh, supposed to be like a, um, what you call it, a, uh, a playlist. Okay. Since he, since he locked up, we're like, we're gonna make a playlist that he would enjoy. This is some good, some good Yeah. That's why we called it Free Kwame. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's really what it was. You see what I'm saying? Like some Detroit niggas making some, some Detroit shit for Detroit niggas. You know? <laughs> like, right. You know, um, white down, whatnot. But uh, you know, um, only negative thing I heard was basically like people just saying. Um, he doesn't, why they thought, their thoughts on why he deserved what he got or something oh, like yeah, that. Yeah, whatever, but, I mean, you know, whatever, man. You got people that's going to be people, so. Nobody deserves to be in jail at the man, end of the day, listen, unless you kill somebody. Not in this country. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you kill somebody, murder, for sure, bro. Man, just, not in this country. Yeah. Get to know Don't even make sense. today with Girl Code, G Code TV. I'm just a girl from the west side. I'm yeah. trying to build my platform. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know who you are. I am Amitria Perido. There you go. And you can find me on all platforms. However, today I'm just a host. And I'm interviewing Oba Rowling. We both from the west side, so it's only right. We come to the west side to Detroit Vegan Soul Food. I'm different, he different, food is different, you know, it's all different shit. Talking about some different shit. We already named our west side, uh, top five west side rappers. Yeah, she got it fixed. You got the soul food platter okay. with the yams, okay. the greens, catfish. Obviously, the macaroni is amazing. <laughs> Black eyed peas and rice. Mm -hmm. Red skin, red skin potatoes for you. There we go. Catfish sandwich, a whole slot, and some uh, mac and Yeah, vegan soul food, man. We over here eating healthy. I just lost 10 pounds eating this meal off top. You see my jacket and got bigger. So you know how I'm doing it. Y'all always gonna be mad by the summer. I keep coming here and eating this. You know? Pour it in here. I actually like the way they got it set up. Exactly. Yeah. Right more. Yeah. So I, I, I see the potential. I see what they're trying to do. Yeah. I appreciate it. Would you come back here? I'll come back here. Yeah. I'm rocking. Yeah. That's really what your voting system got to be. Yeah. Back or, back or, back or away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if, if, I, if I didn't like it, I would be very honest. Like, I would definitely come back and try to try something else off the menu. They got spaghetti, green beans, smoothies, bacon. <laughs> we was in Hustle Fan together. Um, yeah. Yes. That's crazy. RP uh, Marcus. So, yes. That's what taught me how to hustle. That's and Marcus is my nigga. No, my nigga. Let me tell you one time. Let me tell you something about Marcus. So, one time we got Plan B. Uh -huh. I think it's called Trust Now. Something like that. We had the whole downtown scene a lot. I'm Dolo. But I'm telling people this type of shit about me, right? I'm Dolo by myself, right? Right. Man, I get into it with some niggas, man. By myself on a dance floor. I'm like, I'm not even on the dance floor. I'm dancing the dance floor. I'm like walking through the dance floor. I get into it with a nigga, man. It was like two big ass niggas. And uh, it was like, you know, like, 
I guess it was a fight or something broke out, and then like the remainder or whatever was there on the dance floor. So I'm like, oh, whatever. Big ass was getting into it with him. by myself. You know what I'm saying? My boys probably upstairs, so I don't know where they at. But I, don't, I ain't one type of niggas to go run and get boys. I'm a big guy, so I gotta like stand my ground, right? Right. So you know, one thing led to another, man. We got in each other's face. Words were exchanged. I ain't really say too much. I just looking like, what's up? And uh, <laughs> I think I know. Uh, little Marcus' little ass jumped up. Marcus' little ass jumped up. What's up, what's up, nigga? I was like, relax. Relax. <laughs> because this ain't, this ain't the issue I want, but I got I to gotta be here right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep real with y'all. Like, I ain't want the issue, but I was there. Like, nigga, it's whatever. Oh, <laughs> and I had to tell him, like, relax. I got this mirror. I got I got this. You go ahead and go ahead. He's like, you shout? I said, no, no, I'm good. I promise you. Because, you know, <laughs> I promise you, we good. So, uh, yeah, the situation diffused so. Um, actually, when I, uh, Big Tom, my homeboy Big Tom, he like an OG on his side. And, uh, okay. He came over and was like, I guess it was some of his people. And then he told him, like, nah, let's let that shit go. Let it go. Let that shit let it go. Shit, I, I ain't, yeah. ain't want to have it. Shout out to Marcus, man. That's what, that's what really inspired me to be the person that I am right now. Like, yeah. uh, every part of hustling, any type marketing to promoting to yeah. everything I learned from him. Like, right. You know, even with, social, even with social media. Just, yeah. Even through college, through all that, that yeah. helped me get through. And it was just like... It was um the club scene that taught me how to you know network with people. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like that's another reason why I am who I am right now. Hustling how I am. Shout out to Hustle Fan. Yeah. I'm throwing my edges up for life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> being from the West Side, you know? however, because we so underestimated. There you go. We need more West Side rappers. I went to uh, Angela E joint that day. How was that? They in the beginning of the show they was like, Yeah, who y'all prefer? West Side nigga, East Side nigga. Who do you prefer? West Side nigga, East Side nigga. Hmm. Oh, oh. It depends on the situation. You don't make a rub his face. It depends on the situation. Okay. From experience. I'm going to tell you what difference is. Where? From experience. Uh-huh. My last situation was on the west side, and it was like the only person that invested in my dreams and what I wanted to do with my life. Like, on the west side? Yeah. Oh, that's hard. East side. Was I thought they'd be the opposite. Was more so like trying to show me off, trying to make me a trophy girl, and I uh. went with that. I went with that. No? Some girls are down with that. I'm just not that. You're the first person I've heard, so you don't want to be shown off. Mm-mm, cool. Yeah. I feel like I'm somebody, too. But oh, at the same okay, okay, time, okay. I have my own voice, my own bag, my own platform, my own things I'm trying to do. So I can't just be on your arm all day. Mm. Like, that's not the move. East side, for sure. Cut it out. East side's been the check. I ain't gonna lie. What? The wind, the wind gonna blow me to the east side. <laughs> but, yeah. Shout out to the west side. But the west side's the best one you ever had. Thank you for saying that. Bye. Today was fun. Like, I appreciate you for coming out. And that concludes today's episode of Girl Code, G Code TV. Be looking forward to everything over rolling, you know, all the projects, all the movies, and future endeavors that you have to come. Hopefully, you will continue to eat <coughs> vegan. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Hopefully. Thank you. Thank you again for coming out. Yeah. Today was fun. Like, I appreciate you for coming out. And that concludes today's episode of Girl Code, G Code TV. Be looking forward to everything over rolling, you know, all the projects, all the movies and future endeavors that you have to come. Hopefully you will continue to eat <coughs> vegan. Uh -uh. Hopefully. Thank you. Thank you again for coming out.